When people come together to interact around an interactive tabletop, a situation may arise where an individual must authenticate themselves by entering a password or a PIN number. However, due to the legible nature of interactive tabletops, such sensitive authentication information may be observed and potentially stolen by others when entered on the surface. One solution would be for the user to physically shield the surface. However, users may not take this precaution as it could imply mistrust of other users on the tabletop. We present four novel methods of authentication for interactive displays. These methods exploit dimensions of multi-touch interaction in order to resist shoulder surfing. Shield pin augments traditional pin input with the aforementioned shielding gesture, which is included as an essential part of the authentication process. As the gesture is now compulsory, its social implications are reduced. In Q-Pin, the area where sensitive information can be observed is decreased as only a single letter must be shielded. The user inputs a pin by aligning digits on number wheels with the Q letter. Although the interaction is visible to others, no useful information is revealed while the Q is shielded. With the slot machine, the user inputs their pin by vertically aligning digits on number wheels. The first digit of the pin is displayed upon a fixed number wheel. This determines which row upon the pin should be entered. The numbers on the wheels are randomised so that position of the wheel doesn't reveal any useful information to observers. In colour rings, the user is presented with a grid of small icons, one of which is associated with one of four coloured rings. The user must drag the correctly coloured ring over this icon in order to authenticate. All four rings must be moved simultaneously to act as decoys, which obfuscate the pass being entered. When multiple fingers are placed upon a surface, it is not easy to distinguish the levels of pressure applied by each. Pressure grid exploits this difficulty. By applying greater pressure to the intersecting keys underneath the fingers, the user inputs a pin digit or other elements of a pass. A study was completed to evaluate the pressure grid's resistance against shoulder surfing. In this study, one participant entered their credentials, while two participants on the left and right hand side attempted to observe them. These two participants were then asked to enter the credentials they observed as a replay attack. Pressure grid was found to significantly reduce credential leakage using pin and pass faces over these systems in their original forms.